Hey, Spunky. Hey! Do you know what we're learning about today? What? We're learning about igneous rocks. Igneous rocks? Yeah, igneous rocks. And igneous rocks have lots of characteristics that help us know that they're igneous rocks. Did you know that? No. Like uh, large interlocking crystals? Yeah, like large interlocking crystals. Let's take it out. Oh my goodness. Large interlocking crystals. Do you see? They like touching each other in different places. Large interlocking crystals. Lots of them. But, Sparky, let me tell you, you're not going to find a rock like this in the ground. You're just not. What? That looks so pretty and polished. Nope. Nope, Sparky. It's going to look like this, where the large interlocking crystals have to be polished up a bit so that they can turn into this, which probably looks very familiar. Looks like your kitchen counters. Or like this, Sparky. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness, so pretty. But that's not it, Sparky. There are other characteristics for igneous rocks. All right, good. What about that one over there? Well, that one. Smooth as glass, Sparky. Feel it. Smooth as glass. Well, you really don't have but feather arms, so <laughs> you might not be able to feel it. Got to be careful with this. This is called obsidian. What? Obsidian? Isn't that like a jewel? Yeah, sometimes obsidian is like a jewel, but because it gets so smooth as glass. Now, Sparky, sometimes you come across a rock like this. Have you ever seen a rock like this? Yep. Where have you seen a rock like this? Um, by a volcano. So you've been by volcano, Sparky? Yep. This is has a lot of holes in it because the gases, because it's so hot, molten lava is so hot, it, it cools and when it's cooling, bubbles, bubbles of gas is coming out and then it makes it look all holy. Holy? Hmm. Well, it looks to me like there are three characteristics to igneous rocks. Mm-hmm. They are large interlocking crystals like that granite over there in Gabro. Yep. There's also obsidian, which is smooth as glass. Yep. And then we have this holy rock, pumice, that also could be uh, igneous rock. Yep. I think we did a lot of great work here today, Sparky. You think so? Uh-huh. Well, let's, let's continue our learning.